Good morning. I'm standing on Hayworth Ride in the desirable upper village area of Bolmore Village and we're here to see number six, the paddocks, which is in the cul-de-sac we're looking into there. Just so you know where we are, looking north, that's Hayworth Ride and further down Hayworth Ride, that goes round to the village square. Um, Bolnor Village, for those of you who don't know it, is a new development, relatively new development, on the southwestern side of Hayworth Heath. Uh, it's proved to become a very, very popular place to live, especially for families, as there is a really good primary school here, and children from the village go on to Borden Park Secondary Academy in nearby Cookville, which is about, just probably about a mile to a mile and a half away, so the children walk through to there. Uh, the village is surrounded by ancient woodland. This is one of the tree lines you can see here. Uh, there's loads of play areas, it's a managed complex like a lot of these new developments so everyone pays a small estate charge. I think this house pays, I think it's around about £300, 300 pounds, uh, yeah, roughly £300 pounds a year. Um, but this is the paddocks, there's not many houses in the paddocks, there's only a handful. Uh, but we're here to see number six which is this right hand end house here. Um, really nice environment. With all these new developments it's all about location and this is probably one of the best locations in the village. Reason being, well, one, this house has got a driveway and a garage alongside, um, but we are right up in the north northeastern corner of uh, Bolmore Village here, so you can walk through to Haverty Town Centre and uh, the railway station quite easily through this pathway here. If I, if I kept going up this path, you'd cross straight over, um, and that will link through to Bolmore Road, which ten tends to come out down by the uh, police station and the Sergeant and Arms pub or Miller and Carter State Restaurant. Got lots of these little play areas. Just the other side of this play area, there's a footpath that goes down through the trees, which links down into the woods. Um, the woodland is all protected. It's all ancient woodland. Um, there's been a lot of, um, when this development was first built, the big thing is they had to protect the woodland and, and it's lovely. If you've got a dog or just want to go for a walk, you can do that. The village square is literally two minutes away. Uh, that's where you've got a little cooperative store primary school is there and just beyond the village square you've got the woodside pavilion and the playing fields there's lots going on down there lots of mothers and toddlers groups and various classes going in there anyway come into this house these people bought this office a few years ago it's uh it's basically been used as a base when they're down here visiting families so what i call a low mileage property so do come in uh, you've got these nice floors throughout the ground floor you've got a downstairs loo Kitchen, decent sized kitchen. It's actually a kitchen breakfast room. You've got this bay window. They don't have a table and chairs in here, but you can easily get a table and chairs in this kitchen. Um, I haven't lifted up that blind, but really nice outlook. If you're gonna sit here and have breakfast, got a nice, nice environment to look out at. Sorry, I should have showed you the garage behind. That's uh, that's a, a nice size. It's got power and lighting and lots of uh, uh, space in the rafters for, for storage. A nice size living room and in the garden I've got the measurement of this I think this was about 34 feet in length they've done a bit of work in this garden they've sort of leveled it um, you can say you've got the houses behind in Belvedere Walk if you wanted to screen yourself more off you could certainly do some planting here quite easily and, and do that but this has all been re-landscaped and, and re-turfed now this house I wanted to show you this from the back elevation because quite a, quite a few people in Bolnor Village are doing loft conversions now this one, as you can see, has got a hipped roof. You, I'm sure you could get planning permission to build that roof line out and put a great big master bedroom up in that loft space if you wanted to, or even two bedrooms if you wished. While we're here, we'll have a quick look in the garage. So like I say, plenty of storage space up there. Nice to see a fairly clear garage. Believe me, Bolnor Village is one of those places where a lot of the time, if you're buying a house like this, your garage is over in a compound or underneath some coach house flats. This one, I mean, I say you could park two cars on this driveway, you could possibly get three cars down this side if you really wanted to. Obviously, those parked cars there are one of the neighbours' houses, uh, neighbours' cars. A great view over there. Property's been really, really well looked after. It's absolutely spotless. It's all neutrally decorated, very clean, so very much ready to move into. Um, because the f people sort of only use this as a base, there is no chain. So if you wanted to move quite quickly, you could. Come upstairs, we've got the bathroom there. Just the one bathroom, but again, spotless. Front bedroom, probably say is the bigger of the two bedrooms actually. And it's got all these wardrobes, so a good bank of wardrobes. Great outlook to the front. 
shame the sun hasn't come up. Well, I'm here very early in the morning, so the sun hasn't come up over those trees yet. Back bedroom there, again, good size. Obviously overlooking the back gardens. Garage and so on there. Like I say, if, if it was me, I'd get planting along that back boundary just to screen yourself off from the neighbors, but that's easily done. And then the third bedroom, quite a good size, the third. Whether you're gonna have this as a bedroom or an office, or another, another useful storeroom if nothing else. But that's pretty much that. That gives you a pretty good idea of number six, the paddocks. I hope you like what you see. If you'd like to come and have a look, please give us a call. Thanks very much.